I'm sorry, Mia. I, I suck against Mario, and that's why you got lucky, and that's why you won. Oh, Meister, did you see Mia beat this player? I don't care. So I'm never going Joker again against Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Game one, Joker. Here we are, Luminosity makes meals. I'm joined with Leo and Meister. Now we got three goats in Miami. We got Meister, Leo, and Messi. How are you guys enjoying Miami so oh, far? It's been a lot of fun. Yeah? Uh, it's my first time in here. I'm pretty sure the same for Meister, so. Yep. Uh, so now you guys get to dig in and try out our amazing Cuban pastelitos, cafecito, croqueticas. But starting off the day just right, here with Cuban breakfast in Miami in the 305. By the way, Cuban coffee is one of the strongest coffees that you probably will ever have. We're gonna be drinking the whole thing. Nice. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. So we're gonna be starting off first with cafecito and some pastelitos. Oh, dude, these look like. So, wait, wait. What did you say these were? Empanadas. <laughs> oh. So, are they not? No. This is straight up pasilitos con guayaba. Guayaba. Oh, guayaba. Oh, that's delicious. Let me see your thoughts. I should be trying this too. How? How? So I, I just want to say before I take a sip of this that I don't drink coffee. So um, this is my first time actually drinking coffee. So we'll see how this goes. Let's see. And this is awesome. Oh, this is, this is awesome. It's sugar. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. right, it's your first time here, you know. Want to see how you're enjoying it so far. How's the weather? Do you like it outside in Miami? Yeah. It's not too hot? Mm -hmm. No, we had a little bit of a, of a cold wave coming through Miami in the last week. Usually when it gets below, I think it's like 60 degrees, uh, we get a falling iguana warning. It means that the iguanas go into sleep because it's too cold outside of Miami, and it's a warning because if they fall on your head, it could be dangerous. Wait, really? Other than like too big? Yeah, iguanas are huge. They're so big and they're invasive species. Miami's crazy. Welcome to the Australia of the United States. <laughs> Please don't spread. Bro, they got messy and they're Australian teeth. Yeah, we are actually unstoppable here. That's why I'm so glad we finally got a tournament out here in Miami. But moving on and going on to our second course. You guys have had the pasadito, the cafecito, but now it's time for the croquetas and the bocaitos. Oh, you got queso. As, how is it? I've actually, I personally actually have not ever tried the queso. That's the cheese one? That's the queso one, yeah. Mm. May I ask what kind of cheese is it? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. International attorneys, like you come in over here in Miami and all that stuff, we got a lot of different representation now in the most recent tournaments. Aside from you guys, you know, you got Big Boss, Spargo coming in. I mean, the Mexican scene now coming in full into Miami, I always love seeing that too. Especially after, you know, some comments that we heard of recently from uh, Mia and Rising Grind that NA is free. I oh, yeah. mean, let, let's talk about that with more representation coming in. I mean, I wanna know your thoughts. Just be real with me right now. I would just be real. I'm sorry, Mia. Uh, you're a good player and that, yeah, but to be honest, you, I, I suck. I can Mario, and that's why you got lucky, and that's why you won. Because if I go to you, I'll probably won. Yeah? There's no one who knows that you know what's much better than this guy. And also, I, I love me. I actually already met him in person. But Jesus, the amount of people that play him and just forget how to play the matchup is insane. Like, New Days, I was like, New Days will beat him. He studies really hard, and then he did it. Because he, like, Mia was just like, down there, down there, down there. And, me, and New Days was like, yes. <laughs> right here, bro. I think Meister's right on that. Like, they low-key forget, like, how to play the matchup. I don't know if it's actually, like, different playing Mia, but, like, like, like come on. You've been playing, like, Meister for so long. Like, why does it seem like you don't know the matchup? That's, like, really before, before Mutes took a set off for me this year, I beat his <laughs> three times. <laughs> like, we played <laughs> enough. You I know? remember. Yeah. I remember. But now going into what we have in our hands for this bracket, Everyone in Miami, they be fighting some demons. If you could take out one person from your bracket path with somebody else, swap them up with somebody else who you may think is free or easier, <laughs> magic wise, you could say why, you know, it's fine. We're safe here. Who would it be and why? I'm so sorry, but I haven't checked my bracket.
Meister? I don't remember like what my loser's bracket looks like, but I know I have to fight the boss, so that's my answer. Just get the boss out of my bracket. I don't want to play it, like seriously. And instead of the boss, just give me something like, I don't know, Zamba, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I like, like it. Yeah. Look, be like this. Oh, that? <laughs> yeah. No, I like it. And <laughs> yeah. the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Cuban sandwich and Medianoche, you guys could pick which one you want. So, specifically for the Cuban sandwich, we're getting into the meteor question. Mm. So, things may uh, get a little spicy here, but you guys could at least enjoy a pretty good sandwich. Have you ever put like Cheetos like inside your torta but, sandwich? Man, yeah. that's something like. Mexican. You know what? I've done that with Takis. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, uh, get street corn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's yeah, right. okay, you know, I, yeah, there you go. <laughs> elote, I love elote. Bro, this is great. Yeah, so it's a little different. So that, I think, is on, like, sweeter bread, and then, yeah, that one's on Cuban bread. Fun what? fact, did you guys know that Cuban bread is made with, uh, everything's pork. It's made with pork. Ooh. No. Cuban bread. I don't think that's Cuban like bread. Like, oh, is that one? Yeah, one, yeah. Yeah. It's made with pork? Yeah, yeah. Cuban bread's my favorite bread, by the way. I've had a lot of different breads, but... Mm -hmm. My sir, I'm gonna start with you first. Oh, sh so... With Mia being on the rise, we talked about Mia earlier, calling NA free and all that stuff. I wanted to ask you personally, how does that make you feel watching Mia have the results that Mia's been able to accrue with Game & Watch after what everyone called you, called you carried back in the day? I was there. Can you put this down? <laughs> it's cooking. It's going serious. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, okay. Okay, not at all. But it doesn't bother you at all. No. Has people approached you about it and like, yeah. like try to press you? Mm -hmm. I never won a major because like my grand finals were against this guy on his peak form, like peak of the peak. And it was then versus Spargo, or then versus like I don't know, like the boss was in my brackets. I don't know. But like you <laughs> said, all I'm gonna tell you is Mia did not beat the boss, and they have played four times if I'm not incorrect. Oh my sure, did you see Mia beat this player? And I'm like, yeah, I beat him the two. So what about it? And they're like, yo, but he beat Tweak. I'm like, I beat him Tweak. They're like, but he beat Light. I'm like, I beat him Light. At the same time, I'm also glad for me, yeah, because like, he's not having to deal with like everything I had to deal with character hate and like personal hate, and, like not just like character hate. So I'm definitely happy he does not have to deal with any of that. And if everyone wants to worship his game of watch, go for it, man. Like seriously, just just do it. I don't care. I like what you bring up there, though, because it's been a conversation in the past that we've actually seen transcend from Smash 4 into Ultimate. What do you think about Japanese bias in the community? Because you 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 worded it right there, but it you know we it goes see it beyond my imagination. Yeah. <laughs> Where you can't see, no, you can't see. see. Listen, I don't know. All I'm gonna say is, if I went to Japan and stayed there for two months, I'll kick their ass. Ooh, ooh. Put that on the record. Yeah. I definitely want to go to Japan because of that since like long time ago, even before this whole boom of Japan. Like I've just wanted to go there because I know they have like really high level of competition. Now, I'll admit that they're, they, in general, their level is really good. Like even their mid level is really f***ing good. So I just want to go there and kick their ass. And if they kick my ass, good. I need it. I might need it. That actually works perfectly to the segue of what I was wanted to ask you, Leo. Now with your set of questions, a lot of questions around your recent results, of course, going out of Rising Grind. But I do want to highlight something that I think is incredibly overlooked and important when it comes to competing in a game like this and being consistent at a high level. You genuinely look like you were having fun. Be honest with me too. Have, are you having a lot more fun now, the way that you're approaching Smash? Are you, do you have a different mentality? Like, what is different? It seems like something is different. It's different. Now that you mention it, I wouldn't really say it's like something different about me as a person. But like, uh, recently I've been having like bad results, right? Uh, for any reason, right? I, I'm not going to make any excuses. Uh, but I feel like I did try to relearn the game in a different way. Cause like I recently started playing Joker again, mm -hmm. and the way I've been like playing him is completely different. I don't know if it is because like I've stopped playing him for so long, because I played Violet, Aegis, because I tried other characters. But like I can see, like like I do definitely have fun with Joker now. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's probably because I try to learn the game like differently. Like I've been adjusting to the meta, and I feel like I finally are starting to get it. And I've been having. I love that. Yeah, I love how he's always like making sure like he support you in every way. That's a friend that you need. That's good. <laughs> <laughs>
I heard that your game plan is going to be changing up a little bit going into Let's Make Moves Miami, that you're going to be tri maining essentially, depending on the matchups that you're presented with, whether it be now taking out the Marth. I've always loved watching your Marth, so that's going to be super hype. Uh, and then Aegis, possibly for certain matchups. I mean, when you take a look at the bracket, you also have the likes of your Mario PTSD coming out. You got Dominator, uh, you got Kurama. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I've beaten Kurama with all my characters, except for Joker. So I'm not going Joker. All okay. right. For real. For real this time. Like, he said that last time to me. <laughs> Before he went to Rising Grand, he was like, oh, I'm never going Joker again against Mario. <laughs> Game one, Joker. <laughs> And then I'm like, okay, he loses. He's just gonna counter pick the Mard now, right? Joker. No. <laughs> Dude, I, I did that. Are you stupid? It, it was literally how it happened. Leo was looking good, Joker. Yeah, he's got <laughs> looking. It did not look good. <laughs> Sad. Can you explain a little bit, you know, your pathway towards using Mars and Aegis for anyone who just doesn't understand why you don't want to sync to the same character in a game like Ultimate that has so many different matchups that you have to counter pick? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I, I was playing Sonic's like uh, like before, and Sonic against Joker is just like it feels like a bad matchup. Yeah. Like Sonic's was approaching me, which I appreciate, but if he starts camping, <laughs> just like what do I do? Like there were some games where like he was camping me and I couldn't do anything. And Sonic's is also an amazing player. So like if you combine the fact that like people having learning the matchup, like every single matchup, and like everybody is being getting good, I don't know. It just makes sense to me to like go for the better option if you're that kind of player that like is allowed to play like a lot of characters not only solo main well just not go for it like take advantage of that leo's got a deal with not just the marios but the sonics the pikachus the kazuyas um meister's got a deal with I, I said it earlier quids pokemon trainer but also rosa because you're in the line of sight for uh, the buzz but also sonic you no, know, you guys love Sonics, huh? I don't know. Just think about it. You know, I just gotta think about it. It's a possibility. Something that you have to consider. I'm sorry to break it down to you guys, but I'm playing Aegis again. <laughs> don't lie to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got sad real quick in that corner. I don't know. Are you good? <laughs> Maybe it's the coffee, man. <laughs> Can I teach you? <laughs> Can I go home? I asked if you could swap a player for another, but if there's a specific player you could just delete from the tournament, who would it be? The buzz, 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 the Riddles. Riddles. Riddles, yeah. Dude, he played so crazy at Rising Grand. Kazuya is scary. Kazuya is so scary. It is. It's not new news, but it's... That's why I won Riddles done. All right, well, going into the final question, how much longer do you think the competitive scene is going to last after Nintendo's announcement? Um, forever. Like, listen, Mango said it once for Melee. I'm going to say the same thing for Ultimate, like... You just cannot take Smash Bros. away from us. Yeah. You can't. It's just not possible. And if we gotta adapt to those guidelines, we will. We have no problem with that. Of course everyone's gonna freak out. At the end of the day, we're at grassroots, eSports. We're not used to all of this. Like, I mean, uh, I believe already a lot of TLs already tweeted like, Hey, I already got my license. So apparently it's a lot easier than before. If it were just as complicated as before, mm -hmm. I would worry. But seeing everything, how it's going right now, I wouldn't worry. Like, we're a very strong community. We'll just stick together. I feel like we love this game too much for like, for it to like for us to let it die. <clears throat> and also, I think the same way as Meister. Like I've already seen some tournament organizers like getting the license and like I haven't. I mean, of course, there haven't been any tournaments under those guidelines. So we really do not know how it's going to go. Yeah. I don't think Smash will die. I hope you both enjoyed a little piece of the Cuban culture for your first time in Miami. Got to taste some actual shh, authentic shh, Cuban. I'm <laughs> thinking here with me. Oh, shh, shh, shh. I, well, you know what? While Leo grabs everything, I just want to say good luck to you both and enjoy Miami while you're here. Thank while you. Luminosity makes moves, they stay making moves while eating some good food. The f did we go? <laughs>